asked a lot about you know how many of the deals that you see shaking hands on on the show actually end up in deals. I would say conservatively about 10 to 15 percent actually end up closing and they don't close for a whole pile of reasons. We see 230 business pitches in 19 days in the spring so it's all filmed at the same time. So if you look on on this show week to week you'll see us we're in the exact same clothes. So we wear the same clothes for 19 days so that they can pick these segments up and put them wherever they want as they build the season. Uh, 19 days early till late, as I said, 230 business pitches. We get about 40 minutes on average, I'd say, with each, with each uh, pitch, and that gets edited down to the seven minutes or so that you see on the screen. Um, you don't want to be the guy with the dog boot idea coming in on day 19, just, so, just a piece of advice if you're ever thinking about pitching. Not going to make it. Uh, it's a, it is, that part of it's a bit of a grind. Um, but you know, if you think about it, you're not going to make too many business investment decisions in 40 minutes. Uh, you know, no matter what kind of information you get on the show, what we're really saying when we say we, you've got a deal is the due diligence begins, right? So you spend the rest of the year, depending on how many you held your hand up for, looking into these businesses, making sure that they are what they said they were. Um, oftentimes the entrepreneur changes their mind they don't really want to do a deal they're just looking for the three million or so households that this show gets into as a as a way to get their product out uh, sometimes the numbers aren't what they were advertised to be all the things that you would expect to find when you look into any company I mean if I think back on my career the number of cups of coffee I've had to hear an idea that hasn't ended up going anywhere um, you know, my first year I heard, I shook hands on 18 pitches and, hell, and, and completed five deals, which is, you know, a pretty high ratio when I look back on my career as an entrepreneur. Partly because if you do get onto something good, um, the TV can really help. Like Deanna and, and I just cut the ribbon on her latest location at Ryerson University two nights ago. And CBC will film that and Balzacs will be out there and her same store sales will benefit from the great coverage that this show gives. So there's, there's good reason to do them when you get onto something good, but just like in real life, a lot of times the, the, it doesn't go forward, right? And, and it's, uh, it, it really is completely explainable. Um, what, the, what we do try and do on the show is make sure everybody gets called back, everyone gets heard, the diligence is done. Um, when people walk out, we're seeing them for the very first time. Like even though I was a regular at one of Deanna's coffee spots in the distillery, I had no idea she was coming on the show. So when the audience sees the show for the first time, we're seeing it for the first time. As I, looked, as I look at the row of people I'm doing this show with, I've never been around such naked ambition in all my life. I've, ta I've told you about Kevin already, so we'll leave him alone. Um, but you know Arlene's great, very ambitious. She she was her story was she uh, single mom was uh, answering the phone at I think it was CTV at one time. Started to build up a communications company. Found she was good on television. Got on this show. Is really building a network for entrepreneurs uh, online. Um, you know will invest in a number of different things. She gets does a ton of public speaking. If you ever get a chance to hear her speak, she's great. Um, Robert's not on the show anymore, uh, but the, this year they've got this guy that wrote The Wealthy Barber, uh, and he's funny. I don't know. I mean, it was, it was tricky to see how he was going to fit at the beginning, but he's a really funny, smart guy. Now, he's the nice guy on the show this year, so I've had to slide a bit to the right. <laughs> uh, last year, I was the guy that was, oh, yes, that's good, good effort on the dog boots, but it's, we're not interested. <laughs> now, Chili... Dave Chilton is like, he's Mr. Nice, right? So everything he says is, uh, is just perfect. So I've, I've become a little bit meaner. Um, Jim Treliving, uh, out of all the people up there, him and I have become pretty good friends. And he's the real deal. So if you ever get a chance to listen to Jim or read his book or talk to him, you know, he was an, basically his story, small town Manitoba, uh, became, his dad was the local barber. Um, his uh, and he was an RCMP cop and he was you know I've, rid I've ridden with him through his beat in Vancouver where he used to patrol and he's oh, he's from the street you know this is where we broke up these gang fights this is where the hookers were this is you know all the stories he's got right 
And he, he says, look, I, I, uh, I think I'd like to get into the pizza business. There are the, these Greek guys that own a pizza business in uh, Penticton. So he went back to his dad, whose landlord was the bank in the small town. He said, dad, I want to I wanna get into the pizza business. And his dad looked at him, you know, again, straight-laced barber. Jim, you know, last thing on earth I'd be doing is buying an Italian restaurant from a bunch of Greeks. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> But they went ahead anyway, and Jim said, oh, I kind of like this pizza business. Um, put his head down and started growing that chain. And Boston Pizza is a billion dollar business today. Billion dollar business. I just, you know, goes to show you, right? Focus and energy and 724, if it, if it is, if you are meant to do it, it can be done. He's gone and bought Mr. Lube now, and he's going about doing the same thing with Mr. Lube. So all that's to say, he may be the most probably understated of all us up, up there, the quietest, but if you get a chance to hang with Jim, take it. Anyway, I think that's a bit about all on Dragon's Den, but if you have any questions about Dragon's, I'm happy to answer.